Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be having a closer look at another great budget knife from CJRB and this is a heavyweight cutter, the Crag. And as always, if at the ending of the video you feel like purchasing a Crag, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, starting off with a size reference, here is a standard size Sharpie, you can see it's within the length of the Sharpie. Turn it here vertically. Kick open the blade. Ceramic bearings on the inside, that opens up. Ooh, watch the knuckles, watch the knuckles. Alright, there it is, opened up that way. Turn it around this way. I'm going to turn this back around this way, and I'm going to take off this pen cap, place it next to the blade, give you a reference on how large the blade is. For those that want a actual size reference, open up all the way. Okay, so you figure the tip is right about hell. There's eight inches, a little bit over eight. Yeah, I'll just call it eight inches. Closed in your pocket. Probably about a five incher. Um, eh, well, there's four and a half. And there's five, maybe like four and three quarters inches lengthwise. All right, let's have a comparison with how thick it is up here. Bring in a little chopstick here. That's the thinner side. Here is the thicker side. Place that right on here. So I would say that's about the same thickness as a pair of chopsticks all the way around. Have a look at the scales here. Okay, so here's a reference there. All right. Bring the ruler in. I know some people are going to want to know what the length is from the thickest part of this blade that sticks up over here. Right in here. So about an inch and a half. If you take it from like the shallowest point. Yeah, not much of a difference really. About an inch and a half there. A little bit shorter than an inch and a half. And just use the ruler widthwise. Put that right in the middle. Here, let me flip this over. Here's a look at that. Thickness of the blade. This is going to be a pretty decent blade stock here. So there's two quarters. Okay, let me uh, tilt that so you can see. I would say that's about two quarters thick. And it stays that way pretty much all the way until you get to the point there. That's a robust thick blade there. Okay, here's the point. Comparisons there. Ooh, look at the mug on that thing. Yeesh. All right, so here's a deck of cards. That's going to be weighing right around 3.4 ounces, which is, I think, a really nice weight to have in your pocket for an EDC blade. This, I feel like, is going to be heavier. Oh, yeah, 5.2 ounces. So, yeah, I mean, this isn't in that six ounce range, but it definitely has some weight on it. All right, let's have a look up front here. Man, that just flies open with those ceramic bearings. Okay, what we have here is a stone wash finish. Some people will call this a modified sheep's foot profile. To me, this looks more like a cleaver. Flat grind. Be very easy to sharpen that. Nice thickness on the spine. It's going to give you a lot of power when you're chopping. All the way up to that point in the front. It's going to be great to puncture and do draw cuts. Alright, going to flip this around to show you that this is their D2 steel option. Now this is available in their new bargain powdered steel, which I can't even believe such a thing exists. The benefit of having a powdered steel is better grain structure in the blade and overall better construction internally of the steel 
Now it's going to have the edge retention of D2, but be easier to sharpen than D2. And because of the chromium inside of that new steel, it's going to be a lot more resistant to corrosion. And it's only a couple dollars more, so you might want to check that out. Beautiful blade shape here. I would consider that a pretty decent finger choil, but look how close that gets. So you got to be a little bit careful when you creep up there. But at least there's an option to sharpen all the way down to the bottom or the base of the edge there. All right, let me flip you over on this side. We can see that this is a liner lock. Show you what the liner looks like on the inside. You can see the skeletonizing with those circles on the inside. Takes off some weight there. Also, no backspacer, right? It's a pass-through standoff option in here, which some people like. Uh, th this just means that lint can actually get in here, but it's a lot easier to clean at the same time. I don't mind that, though. No backspacer. Standoffs look really nice. And we can see that they went with torque screws. So, again, I like this option. I think everybody's moving toward this now. Uh, you can take it apart, clean it, lubricate it, maintain it. Love this color combination. I like that orange accent on the pivot. All right, let's have a closer look at these scales here. G10 scales. Now, the other versions have carbon fiber, but I don't mind this texture at all. A little bit of a pyramid feel to it. Definitely not over aggressive. Love the way that looks. Okay, flat. Nice milling though, so I mean, I don't really get the feel that it's too sharp on the edges. It's rounded, rounded off on the sides. You grip onto it, not a lot of hot spots. Again, just maybe the clip, but that's normal. Nice finger choil up here in the front. Get my full grip on there. Very comfortable in the hand. All right, let me flip this over here so we can have a look at the pocket clip. Real deep carry. It's going to slide all the way up there into your pocket. Nothing special. Pretty vanilla on the pocket clip. Reversible. Tip up carry in your pocket. And I just think this is a wonderfully executed budget chopper blade for just about $40. Or even if you want to upgrade to get the new steel by Artisan. It's a wonderful addition to your collection. You know, so if you're looking for a knife that's a little bit heavier. And that just flies open on those ceramic bearings. Nice thick heavy blade if that's what you're into. I think it's worth upgrading to the new steel from Artisan. That AR RPM9 is going to be fantastic. I think that's going to have a bright future. My man, that feels good in the hand. Well, all right, guys. If you want to purchase the Craig, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.